Hello, today we're going to talk about subtotals. Now, subtotal is a function, but I'm going to talk about uh, different things, such as subtotaling data today. So it's not a formula, it's going to be found under the data tab. Now, this is a pretty self explanatory process once you understand how it works. So, whenever you're finding a subtotal, you're going to be doing something like an average or a sum or a count or basically one of those big five functions, but you're going to be grouping the data based on a common characteristic. So, really reading the question or really knowing what you want to do is the first part of getting this right. So, I want to subtotal this data here to uh, show the average sales price, which sounds like this column, grouped by style, which is this column. So there's this implicit first step, and that's the only difficult part about this process, is the implicit first step. So you need to understand what am I gonna group by? And so I'm gonna group by style, and so I'm gonna, what you need to do is sort the data first. So I like to sort with filters, so I'm gonna apply filters, and it doesn't matter whether I sort it in ascending or descending order, it does not matter. I just need to get all the condos next to each other, and all the ranches next to each other, right? And all the Victorians next to each other. So I have to sort based on the group by. And once that's done, it's as simple as heading over to the data tab, clicking on subtotal, and you get this kind of crazy looking dialog box. And so at each change in, this really should say grouped by. So grouped by the thing that I sorted by, which is style. And I want the average of the uh, sales price. So I don't want that. I find sales price. And there we go. This should work. I click OK. And so that's kind of weird. So you get this outline view, which is probably new to you. And so you can see that the average condo costs just under $90,000. And you can kind of sort of see that the subtotal goes at the bottom of the block of things. So they have to be grouped together in order for it to work correctly. And the average ranch is there, and uh, the average Victorian is there. You can collapse these, right? You can. So there's all kinds of things you can do with these different views, but that's a subtotal. So let's look at an incorrect subtotal next, because I think that's the more interesting one. Heading over here subtotal this data uh, to show the total days on market grouped by style. So that's going to be sum of the days on the market grouped by style. So I'm going to make a mistake here and not sort the data just so I can show you what that looks like. So this is a subtotal problem. I pop open the dialog box um, grouped by style. So I'm going to put style as my criteria here and I want the s oh sorry I don't know what I'm doing. Style here and I want the sum of the total days on market. So I did that a little backwards. In spirit, this is the correct way to set up this dialog box, but it's not going to work because I forgot to sort. And so when you do a bad, quote, bad subtotal, it's going to look something like this. Right, I've got these subtotals after almost every row. Right, it's just, it's, so if you get something like that, it doesn't necessarily mean that you did it wrong, but it's probably wrong. Right, I should not have ranch, 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 Victorian, Victorian. This should just be one big block. So let's say I make a mistake. Of course, there's the undo button, but whenever I can avoid that, I do. If you head over to the subtotal button, you can remove all, right? And now you're back to where you started. So let's just do this correctly. Remember, step one, realize what you're grouping by. Sort by that thing. So we are grouping it by style. So sort it by style. Now if I go and do the exact same thing I did before, and one of the cool things is it remembers what you did last time. So group by style, sum of, days on market, click OK. And now I get, right, so days on market adds up to 4111. Right, so notice I do not have subtotals after every single one. Let's look at the third one, which is more difficult in a sense, but kind of subtotal the data to show the average price grouped by bedroom. So grouped by means I need to sort on the bedroom column. Now I'm ready to do a subtotal. And so I'm grouping it by bedroom. Uh, and I want the average of the price, which is, the, I think, I mean the asking price or sales price. I have to just make a decision. I didn't write it too well. I click OK. Notice this dialog box reads pretty much pretty similarly to how the question's worded. And so that is how you 
apply subtotals. So right, the key here is sorting. Once you've sorted it, uh, as long as you know where the tool is, it's pretty self-explanatory from that point forward. So now you know, and knowing is half the battle.